I wasn't planning on vlogging this week for you guys, but here I am, which means that I clearly am one enjoying this and I would miss this a lot. And two, clearly I'm a slave to you guys. Okay, I was gonna take a week off. God, help myself. I wanna vlog my week for you guys. <laughs> what have you done to me? We actually have so many PR packages, guys. We have this beautiful golden hour to get some really pretty product shots before we get into the pr packages what do we think of the makeup i know in my last vlog i told you that i did the crying girl makeup it's so funny guys because today i did the angry girl makeup i know what is wrong with me i make myself cringe i actually love how it came out and i love the video you guys have to go watch the video it's on my tiktok and instagram and i just love how it came out let's get into the pr packages because i think the sun is going down it might be down in the next 10 minutes we have to run through these when i say i have so many pr packages i'm not lying i'm not joking around here this is one third one third of the pr package this is how i break my nails guys this is exactly how i break my nails let me quickly go get something to open these with okay so this one is clearly from glossier oh okay yeah i think i remember what this is from so when i went to that event i don't think i've loved that they asked me what pr gift i wanted and i think i picked this but i really can't even remember what it is <gasps> the sun is already going down oh no come back come back oh right <laughs> Ooh, silly me you just slide it but that's embarrassing i don't think i've ever received a pr package with a toothpaste and toothbrush in it there you have it i think i'm just gonna show you guys the products and then get the product shots separately because let's not talk about it okay oh my god i actually know what this is this is rupaul's new makeup line how cool is that guys this is the eyeshadow palette it says shante you stay i went through a phase in my life where i would non-stop just like binge watch RuPaul's Drag Race. Next up, we have this huge advent calendar from Elemis. Tis the season, guys. <gasps> Should we see what's in number three? Should we have a little look? Don't know why number three is calling to me. Luxurious shower cream. Mm. Oh my God, this is actually gonna smell really nice. We have the Retinol Skin Renewing Daily Microdose Serum from Kiel. I'm actually really happy to be receiving because I think my skin has like got used to using retinol, so I need to like up the dosage a little bit if you know what i mean just some pieces from nars climax mascara some lipsticks some shiseido products see guys this is my toxic trait i will open my packages most of them anyway i know what i've received so i've already like that like feeling of like oh what did i get do you know what i mean the iconic london like glaze crayons this is like a liquid eyeshadow side and then you have like the matching kind of color crayon and i've used these already many times <laughs> but i still haven't posted these on my story but you know what i'm not mad about it because i feel like it's more interesting for you guys to like get a review of products as well like not just me sat there saying oh i got this i got this i can say like my experience with it next time that i move i'm going to make sure that not every brand has my address because it's so wasteful i completely forgot about these these are some Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow palettes. This is one of them. This is the Bejeweled Eyes to Hypnotize. And then we have the Instant Eye Palette Smoky Eyes Are Forever. You know what? I probably could have used this today in today's look. I got gifted this perfume from Victor Rolf. Let's smell it, shall we? It's very nice, but I feel like I've smelled this a million times. <gasps> yes! This is the Vanilla Royale. It has notes of vanilla, golden rum, creme brulee, brown sugar, royal oud. I am obsessed. Yes, with vanilla scents, guys. Packaging is given expensive. Should we smell her? Oh my god. My new favorite scent for sure. Oh my god, that smells so good. Wow. So my camera died. I know, guys, I'm so annoying. Like, charge your camera. Honestly, it's now many hours later. I would say let's continue unboxing the PR packages, but <laughs> I'm bored. I kind of wanted to touch on something that I thought maybe i should speak about you know in my last vlog at one point i say you know today i feel particularly ugly for some reason like sometimes you wake up and you think i feel pretty today i look so pretty today and then sometimes you wake up and you're like i just look so ugly well basically i spent all of last night up until 1 to 2 a.m just completely obsessing over how i look which is just so weird because it's not something that i usually do it started with me looking at my old youtube videos i look so pretty there and i look so pretty there and i'm like looking at myself and i'm like like i don't know what what's changed in me that's made me look i don't know not as pretty i feel like i've lost a lot of weight i think the common thing is that people want to lose like 
weight on their face like people don't want baby face but i just feel like my face is a lot skinnier and like not as like voluptuous and then Mm -hmm. and then it went down a really bad road basically guys right so i got cheek filler like a, over a year ago now maybe even two years ago i was just like new into this industry and you know when you compare yourself to people and you think this is a certain way that i should look or maybe if i do this i will look prettier etc so basically i got cheek filler and i hated how i looked with it like i just hated it and that's why before my nose job i got it all dissolved i dissolved it all completely and i'm so happy that i did that and every time i tell people i'm like like it really is just a scam like you don't need these things and you convince yourself that you do but you really really don't what i'm trying to say is right i spent all of last night obsessing over how i look and comparing myself to other people and comparing myself to my older version of myself i was looking at pictures and videos of myself a week ago and i was like what's happened like i was so pretty like it's so it's so ridiculous but so at some point i'm clearly like realizing okay wait this is weird like why am i thinking like this this i know this isn't normal so then i go into tiktok and i'm looking at i literally put in why do i feel so ugly today <laughs> and then this girl she made like a similar post like i don't understand why some days i feel so ugly some days i feel pretty and stuff like that and then somebody commented like it's that time of your menstrual cycle and i was like wait what and i looked into this and apparently there's this phase called the luteal phase which is the phase where you you stop ovulating and before you're about to start in that phase you're a lot less high energy high vibration and apparently this is the time that we criticize ourselves the most the first thing she said is inner critic is going to come up and you need to just shut that down asap and i was like oh my god like i'm about to start in three days in three days and i was like oh my god it's adding up like it's actually adding up i just wanted to mention this because maybe some of you guys feel the same or you always wonder why do i go through these phases and stages and i think it's important to understand ourselves and our hormones and what our body goes through literally every month like we go through a hormonal cycle and it's just it's insane how little we apply that to our daily lives like we should really focus on that and kind of like cater our months to our menstrual cycles yeah just don't don't obsess over how you look and don't make any rational decisions on a night or whatever like book something in a night or what do you know what i mean like just just like basically chill out i just i feel like it was so important to talk about that because it was just very very weird of me to to be going through that anyway time to eat some dinner so yesterday i actually made myself some pasta it was just a tomato pasta i stopped buying pasta sauce a very long time ago and just like make my own because it's just so much more yummy and delicious so i'm gonna heat up my pasta that's it's quite a lot of pasta like this is the thing guys like i'll have breakfast i'll have a big dinner and then a snack <sighs> I'm a snacker. A little tip for you guys to stop your pasta from drying out, put like a little bit of water on there. Sorry, that's my kettle boiling now with the microwave. Maybe I should, you know, let me tell you about this later. If you add a little bit of water to your pasta, it'll stop it from drying out. You know how I was telling you guys how there's like this running competition between me and my dad about who can pick the best movies? Well, he texted me last night and he's like, Helene, you have to watch this movie and it's called the swimmers i'll give it a go and watch it tomorrow and i'll give you a review he's like you're gonna give it a hundred percent but i do think that he's actually found a really good movie i'm pretty sure it's a movie that's gonna make you cry am i ready for those emotions maybe not but i did promise my dad that i will watch it today i know the beta squad have come out with a new video they like throw a dart and like go to that place i love their videos they're just so entertaining so i think i'm just gonna watch that whilst i have some dinner mm, it's just so how could i forget the cheese just quickly grated some red leicester cheese honestly purely because they didn't have mild cheddar oh i'm not mad about it mm. Mm -mm -mm. i love cheese and it does the worst things to me in my skin i'm really that girl in the restaurant they're like say when and i'm like because i'll never say it. oh my god i can't wait to put you in my stomach there's nothing better than when you made dinner yesterday and you just have it left over <laughs> Hey guys, 
new day, new event. We are heading to lunch with Beauty Bay. I just quickly recorded an ad and really quickly recorded a tutorial on this eye. It's kind of messy, but I'm just like, yeah, it fits with the... I don't know what it would fit with because my outfit is not giving so true mess. So it looks good. Okay, I'm just panicking because I'm late. Who would have thought? Me late? <laughs> Again? My makeup... It came out good today. I was panicking for a second. Went for the swoopy fringe and the hair up because I am in a blazer. Maybe I can quickly show you guys the outfit of the day. Not the best light, but I've gone super casual with this gray blazer. This is from PLT or Miss Guided, I can't remember. This is just a plain pink basic from Zara. These are from PLT. They're like mom jeans kind of. And then I went with pink J's because it just fits. Oh, I'm in my Jacuma's bag. I almost forgot to put on a fragrance. Have to do the Kayali because I've been obsessed with this since last night. Days are staying in the same bed. I need a kickstart just to change this. I don't want to waste a minute on the basics, but it's keeping me feeling so amazing. So I'm going to stretch, brush my hair, always looking like a mess. Oh, and me, I could go and do the rest Give it a little more fit, I'll be set And I hope that you'll miss it I stay late now when it's stuck in my bed Day and night, never feel my best I know, oh well But there's someone Beautiful, beautiful Beautiful Oh, that's cute Gorgeous Beautiful Stunning <laughs> 10 out of 10 Yes <laughs> No, to me, for looking really No, 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 it is officially that time of the month for me and i want nothing more than to just curl up on my bed get really snuggly and cozy and just watch movies all day but no days off i have way too much stuff i need to do i honestly probably had the worst pains i've ever had last night men will never understand the pain that we go through every single month. But it's okay, I just took some tablets and had my hot water bottle and I was okay. I'm just feeling very meh today. Do you know what I mean? Like you just want to have that day off. There's just a crisp packet floating in the air. How the hell did that get that high up? I'm telling you, the wind and the cold is crazy today. First things first, I need to go record a TikTok. I'm going to do a Christmas filters pick my makeup kind of thing, which should be cute. And then I think I'm gonna wash my hair take a nice long shower. I also need to do some laundry. There's a few things we need to do today. I've already spent my morning editing ads and sending them for approval. Here is the Christmas look. I mean, the lips are genuinely disgusting and disgraceful. It's not bad though. It is giving Christmas. It's so cute. It took me way longer than I expected and now I'm just so low energy like I I don't want to do anything else that I had planned that I needed to do today, but I really want some just like authentic home cooked food today. I'm sick of eating out. I'm thinking like, why don't I just make my tomato soup, my homemade tomato soup, really nice like grilled cheese sandwich with it. They've had the um, rhinoplasty, obviously, and we're just doing a little FaceTime. Give them a quick rundown of how you feel, guys. It's day two, right? Yeah. How it's do you day feel? two. We look pretty much as bad as we feel. We feel as bad as we look. <laughs> the only way to describe it is I feel like a teapot. Like, there's so much yeah. built-in pressure, and I'm like, this is... But I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> well, there you go, guys. Have you ever felt like a teapot? <laughs> um, but yeah, they're gonna go off, get some food, right? No, we're gonna go for a walk. Oh. And sleep. We can go for yeah. a walk and sleep. I'm gonna get my life together. I was literally meant to start cooking at 6. It is 8 p.m. And the last thing that I ate was at 10.30. Let's go cook. Spring is the season that wakes me alive And fall is the season to contemplate life Oh, yeah. I don't know What is it exactly in this time of year That makes the melancholy me reappear Oh, yeah. Back and forth Through dark roast coffee Salt mist and 
did a super quick blowout i'm sorry that i didn't record it for you guys or talk about it if you guys want me to do a video on like how i do my blowout and stuff then do let me know so i can do something a bit more in depth so tired after i was cooking and honestly didn't really have much downtime today but yeah i just really quickly wanted to wash my hair and like do a blowout because we have another event tomorrow i am gonna head to sleep good night guys Good morning, my sugar pie, honey bunny, muffin, munchkins. Of course, we have another event today. Today, we are going for a Christmas lunch with Nas Cosmetics. I literally use their products all the time. So I'm so excited to go to this event. Today, we are going to go for a very bronzed Hollywood kind of glam because I want to curl my hair. I'm going to go get glam now. I have a TikTok to record. It's actually a problem, guys. Like, I feel the need <laughs> to record every single time I do my makeup. The lighting looks really good today, actually. Hi, guys. Sorry for the abrupt ending to the little makeup tutorial. As always, I'm rushing. I'm running quite a bit late to the event. Something feels off about my makeup today. I'm not sure what. It's just something is not sitting right with me. I don't think you guys understand just how quickly I got ready today. It must be a record. I did a Wednesday Adams tutorial for my TikTok and Instagram. So the eyes are still Wednesday Adams. The eyebrows, the forehead is still Wednesday Adams. <laughs> just took off the lower half of my face and just quickly did my base. I am off to go bowling with my girlfriend. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm in this like really cute like hoodie. <laughs> what the hell because why did i win at bowling words cannot express how much i suck at bowling the fact that i won i was telling c like it just shows how bad she must be at bowling i guess that's the moral of the story i should play bowling with people that are bad as well and it's gonna make me feel better about myself and we just spoke and spoke and spoke like every time we see each other just speak about absolutely everything that's happening in our life i wish i could just sit and watch some wednesday adams i'm obsessed with that at the moment i have to post last week's vlog tomorrow so I need to get to editing. I edited it today, guys, and it was like 40 minutes long. And I was like, okay, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to sit through 40 minutes of me. I think my issue is, guys, I just talk for days. Like, I will sit and tell you guys about my life. And then I watch it back as I'm editing. And I'm like, they do not need to know that. Like, they don't need to know that. Cut that out. Cut that out. Cut that out. I just hit 100k on YouTube. It was one of my goals for 2022. And I have achieved that goal. So I'm... Um, feeling really accomplished, feeling really proud of myself. I'm gonna take tomorrow off guys. I'm not gonna record tomorrow, I'm not gonna vlog. I'm gonna post on my platforms, take the rest of the day for myself, which I'm just so excited about. And yeah, hopefully I won't do any work tomorrow. Knowing me, I probably will end up doing some. Also in my previous vlog, I mentioned that I got an exciting email. We'll now make that X2 times two. I'm so, so excited to tell you guys. Like, I just want to tell you now. You guys are just going to have to stay tuned. Watch the vlog. It's been such a fun week. We'll see all you beautiful people in next week's vlog. Bye.